I am Anil Kumar and here is a word problem relating time, distance and speed. Test 2015 Linear Systems. Chris drove to Barrie, Ontario. Part of his trip was on major highways and the rest was along country roads. He travelled at 110 km per hour on the highway and approximately 55 km per hour on the country roads. He spent a total of 1 hour 15 minutes on the roads, driving a total of 120 kilometers. How much time did he spend on each type of road? Now we can make a table relating distance, time and speed and then solve such questions, right? My recommendation is always when you have a distance, time, speed question, it's a good idea to make a table. Now, in this table, we can write distance, speed, and time. Now, here we are given speed. The speed given to us is 110 kilometers per hour on highway. So, we have highway. speed is 110 the units are kilometers per hour distance will take kilometers and time in hours okay and for country road the speed is 55 kilometers per hour we are also given total time and total distance so we can write down total here Total distance given to us is 120 kilometers and total time is 1 hour 15 minutes, right? So 15 minutes is quarter of an hour. So we can write 1.25 hours, correct? We need to find how much time did he spend on each type of road. Now since we have to find time, let us say x is the time in hours. On highway and y is time in hours for country road. Now if these are the two variables defined, so you have to write down let x be the time in hours on highway and y be the time he drove on country road. Then the distance traveled will be distance is speed into time 110 x on highway and 55 y on country road. Correct? So that gives you two equations x plus y equals to 1.25 and 110x plus 55y equals to 120, right? So these are your two equations. Let me write them down. So let me start with the first one, which is 110x plus 55y equals to 120. And now I'm writing x plus y equals to 1.25. Now here you can use any of those methods, elimination or substitution. So what I will do is I will multiply the second equation by 55. So, so these are two equations to start with, equation 1 and equation 2. So now what I will do is I will multiply equation 2 by 55 and then we will take away, right? So if I multiply by 55, I'll get 55x plus 55y equals to 1.25 times 55. 1.25 times 55 gives us 68.75. Correct. So let me call this as equation number 3. Okay. Now we can take away equation 3 from equation 1. So what we'll do now is we'll do 1 minus equation 3. So if we do that 110 minus 55 is 55. Okay, let's write down. So it is 55x that is 0 is equal to 120 minus 68.75. 
that gives us in decimals 51.25. So x is equal to, we can divide this, right? So x is equal to 51.25 divided by 55. That is time in hours. We'll divide this by 55. And that gives us 41 over 44. 41 over 44. So those many hours, right? You can always convert this number of hours to minutes. So let's multiply by 60. So we get 55.9090. So it is approximately, let me write this as 56 minutes. Okay, So that is approximately 56 minutes. Now we know sum of time is 1 hour 25 minutes. Now 1 hour 25 minutes, let's do it, 15 plus 60 is 75, right? This is 75 minutes, correct? So we can always now get y is equals to 75 minus 56 minutes. Right? So we can do 75 minus 56 to get our answer, which is approximately 19 minutes, right? So so we can say that Chris drove for 56 minutes on highways and 19 minutes on the country roads the y value okay so that is how you can solve these types of questions i hope that is clear thank you and all the best